Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Show and Tell by Pteranodon Media. Today, we have a very special figure. And, uh, well, I say that just about all the time now, but this is extra special here. It's Merman. Yes, finally. Oh, I've been waiting for Filmation Merman. Yes, and he comes in the standard case that uh, the Filmation characters have been coming out in. And look at just how great this figure looks. Just the presentation with the window and, and you get your little Merman. Oh, look how cute he is. Uh, yeah, this is just phenomenal with what Super 7 has been able to do with this and uh, translate these um, originally put out by Mattel. And... Um, and so this is yeah yeah this is this is what we got here uh, merman with his little uh, t uh, candy corn or little tiny corn uh, sword um, and uh, yeah I'm very uh, excited hey look there's my reflection again because it's so shiny hey okay so we are gonna open this guy up and uh, we'll show you what he looks like outside of the package Oh, and look at him here, Merman in all his glory. Merman, oh my god. So this just takes me back to when I was, well, I was probably about five years old. I don't know, how old are you when you're usually in kindergarten? I remember kindergarten and watching He-Man after school. And on. I guess they would give these little breaks to us. And we would watch TV before nap time. And I remember Merman and having the toy and remembering just the toy, how terrifying the toy was, but how goofy the 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 cartoon character was. And I like the face sculpt on this. This is just a near perfect rendition of the Filmation Merman. Um he also comes with this Filmation gun, which look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna go on Wikipedia and pretend I know this. Uh, and give you the reference, but I could tell you that I do remember watching Merman all the way back when I was in kindergarten, and uh, yeah, Merman was just one of those characters, just really stupid, dumb, but lovable characters, goofy bad guys, um, also voiced by Alan Oppenheimer, I know it's Oppenheimer, but I used to say Oppenheimer, uh, so yeah, this is Merman. He he doesn't have a. I mean, this is continues the the trend of not having the removable armor, which is fine. Um, it would have been nice, but you know whatever. Unless and, and he's got look at this. He's got these little swivel wrists. Well, not just like well they turn, but they also go like that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, which to me defeats the purpose kind of I mean I would love to get like some smaller PVC you know non movable versions of these like cake toppers as you see them on eBay uh, but that would be pretty cool as well you know filmation accuracy and, and, and articulation aren't always going to work out but I think with this figure it does I really like the muted colors um, and here's a deal with with uh, a lot of people say, well, uh, you know, sometimes the colors that Super 7's been, you know, giving these characters don't match the color palettes of the cartoon. Look, hey, when 1985, you're watching Masters of the Universe on a little TV, and if I had a black and white TV. Yeah, they still made those, and it was very common for people to have black and white TVs. I played my Atari 2600. Color really wasn't a issue. Uh, you get the general idea. You get the gist of it. But, you know, he's got all the standard Masters of the Universe articulation. I'm really happy with this. If I had not seen He-Man in the past 10 years and I just saw Merman, a Merman figure, I'd recognize him immediately. I think this is really well done. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand him up over here and I'm going to get the other figures um, and compare them. Now here is a, uh, well, let's get, look, let's, let's get, first of all, let's get the, the, the crew. Let's get the the fearsome threesome. How about that? You get Merman. You get Beast Brain. And you get Skelly. Old Boneface himself. 
Yeah, doesn't that look good? Just look at that. That's one of my favorite color combinations. The orange, blue, purple, aqua green, and yellow. Just that's just that's just beautiful. I mean, that's just I like how that all goes together. I mean, that just represents there. That's the NWO. Yeah, these guys are great. So let's add a few other recent ones. I don't have my Evelyn with me here, but um, let's get Trapjaw hanging out there. Like, hey guys, what's going on? Did I miss something? And uh, let's get uh, the controversial Triclops hanging out here. Ah! You know what? I'm going to put Triclops back over here. And get they would fall over. I mean that's just how idiotic these guys were in the cartoon. But um, look look how that now I the, what the big deal with Merman is that you got Beastman, Skeletor, Merman. These guys were very common, and uh, you'd see a lot of episodes with them together. And um, yeah, it was kind of like your evil version of Captain Kirk, Spock, and Bones. Uh, so now I finally feel that my co my my collection my filmation villain collection is complete uh, with this merman. I feel that if they came up with another character, I really wouldn't matter to me. That's why I didn't get uh, whatever his name is, uh, Jitsu, whatever his uh, filmation character's name was. I called him Jitsu in the cartoon. But yeah, yeah, no, I didn't um, really order him. I didn't want to have to spend another well, how much whatever whatever they're charging. Didn't feel like I needed him. I did feel, though, that I needed Merman. And I'm very happy with what Super 7 has done. You know, my uh, my thanks go out to uh, Super 7 for making this happen. In fact, I want to say that, like, because this is here. You got Super 7, Super 7, Mattel, 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 right? You know, it's hard to tell the difference. It's really hard. Oops. It's really hard to... Um, don't beep at me. Um really hard to tell which one if you were to st if you were to tell me that this Mattel had done this it really wouldn't um I would I would I would believe it um as far as the plastic quality goes it's very similar very very similar now I, again this is just one of those figures that and this is kind of almost like a very stretchy rubbery thing there sword is nice and solid you know this thing here is somewhat bendy but not super bendy um I wish the face had a different expression. I wish we had another face that came with Merman because he would always have that worried, oh, you know. <gasps> um, but yeah, very, very happy with what we got with this. And um, like I said, it would have been nice to have a different expression. Uh, but he always, I mean, he either had the worried look or just the, the upset look or the just the eyes wide open look. Uh, this is the upset, angry merman, uh, which I'm okay with. I think that's just fine. Um, yeah, I hope to see. I hope to see them bring back it again. I went. I talked about this with with another three pack. Wouldn't it be great just to get these three guys again like that? You know, have the Beast Man, Skeletor, Merman three pack with some filmation DVD or box set. I mean, something like that would be awesome. We still haven't gotten them on Blu-ray, so that would be a great opportunity to get these guys back in production. Anyway, I hope we get to see more Skeletor. Um, but that's it for Merman. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I want to see if there's anything different. You know what? His shorts actually are a lot different than Beastman's. Did you notice that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is something I just noticed. And he's got these pointy, like pointy boots, different from the, the original Mattel pointy boots. So yeah, we got some differences here, some uh, uh, different gloves. So uh, those are things that I don't notice right away. And when I start posing them or displaying them, I was like, "Hey, look at that! That's part of the fun." Um, anyway, so thanks for checking this out. Let me know what you think. Stand up, you fool! Let me know what you think with your comments. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram for some more BS. Adios. Take care. Farewell.